Hey everybody, so today I have here an A2337 M1 2020 MacBook Air. I have it in here for repair. It is not turning on, it's not charging. The customer said this is for his son and the two USB-C ports here just aren't charging. Um, he said they feel a little bit loose. Um, something might be wrong with it. Um, he's not sure if it's been damaged or uh, especially if there's a problem charging it, you don't want to make sure that you wiggle it or you try to really force it in there because then you could break something, maybe you break your cables or you can break maybe the connection that's in here. And we don't really want to do that. So we don't want to go down that path. Um, so let's go ahead at least to take a look to see uh, if it's any type of physical issue. Now, um, before he did drop off this charger, this is a 30 watt a USB-C charger. I believe this M1 ships with the 30 watt charger. Um, you're gonna think maybe that's a little bit low. I do know the older Air ship with the 45 watt, if I'm not mistaken. But those are the Intel chips. They're lower power processor chips. These M1, they're based on ARM, so they do require a lot less power to function. Um, so the 30 watt, I believe, is the way to go. Uh, this is not a genuine one. It is a non-genuine one, and I'm not sure the cable doesn't look to be genuine as well. We always recommend obviously getting the Apple OEM ones, uh, especially if you have the MagSafe one or two, that has a lot more going on. That's why you're getting your orange and green light. Um, so you definitely wanna make sure if you have MagSafe one or two, always, always, always get the OEM um, chargers. You don't wanna get any third party ones because you can definitely damage the machine. The USB-C ones don't matter as much, but they're still kind of important because you don't want to cheap out on any type of third party device for your nice, very expensive thousand plus dollar a MacBook. So. Um, we're not going to worry about this one. I don't really see it doesn't look to be damaged inside and we're going to go see uh, We'll take a look. I have my USB-C charger with a voltmeter there I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can just plug it in see if it works Let's go ahead and test it first and see what happens. So let's check it out um, Let's we'll see if there's any damage to the port looks like there might be something on the top one I don't know about the bottom one. It's a little bit hard to see here I'll just do the bottom one because I see something in the top one for sure, but then you would be hard to Okay, so I can't fully push this in actually, and it's not going in all the way. It's very loose, and I'm sure that's probably what he's feeling. So there's definitely something protruding it. There's something blocking it. Now, on these ones, uh, they're pretty interesting. They do have a removable one uh, that you can use, and it looks just like this. So in a worst-case scenario, if there is actual damage to the, the USB-C ports, we can actually just replace these if, if it comes to that. Um, we have made videos on replacing these before. If that's the case, if there's like a damaged pin, a damaged trace, there's one model, I do believe it is the A1708, and that one actually has a soldered piece, and that would be a lot more of a pain to remove. It's not fun at all. So uh, thank goodness at least this is the M1, but let's go ahead and take a look under the microscope. Okay, <laughs> there it is. So that's our, it's our problem. But it's, it would be strange if, the, if both of them had the problem where there was something stuck in it. Um, let's go ahead, we can remove this. This piece, something in there. There we go. <laughs> it's flicked up. This is your piece. Here is one. Okay, I got that last piece in there. Ooh, it's that. That looks to be pretty good. At least it's been removed now. I think that's all that's left in there. I don't think there's anything else. Ports. Oh, that looks clean, doesn't it? Looks pretty clean. Let's blow it right real quick. Might be a little bit loud, guys. Look at those beautiful ports, though. Let's go ahead and plug it in, and let's go ahead and see if it's going to go work. Oh, you heard that click? Oh, it's satisfying. So good. All right, and we actually get power. See the Apple logo to come up, and it might die when I swap it too. But uh, I see it's coming a little bit, and let's go swap. Okay, see, so, I'm you know, just for a little bit there, and let's see if we're getting power in our other one. Okay, I didn't want to show the customer data there, but it is coming in. But it looks good. It's charging. It's getting 19.5 volts and about 2.36 amps, which is good. It's charging and we go back to this one, make sure it's doing fine as well. And we have a little Uzi fan here too. So we were able to do the fix for it. Another way to do this would have been to, uh, if it was really bad in there, maybe we have to open up the whole laptop and then remove the ports. If something's really stuck in there and lodged that you can't pull out, we can remove the whole board, take it out. That's a lot more work. We're actually lucky we didn't have to do that. Or if there's damaged traces, we can actually replace with one of these. Um, 
my microscope's acting up right now. I can't really show this on the microscope, but I have we have lots of videos uh, showing these ones USB C um, charger ports. There are ones that you can actually just replace. They have uh, pins on the connection on the board, so if we need to replace them, we could. There are some models. I believe the A1708, which is the 2017 one, which has a soldered uh, USB C ports that are just soldered to it, and the only way to remove it is to desolder them. It's a lot of work. It's a real big pain. These ones are a lot nicer. They're modular. Um, they work on the M1s as well, as well as the MacBook Airs and the MacBook Pros have the same type of connection there. Obviously, the new M1 Maxes have it's a little bit different. They have they have a USB-C as well that does have a, that's modular like this, and it does uh, charge via MagSafe too. So we're lucky that it was just the repair for this. If you want to go ahead and check out other repairs on the USB-Cs, or if there's other issues you have, we have those uh, videos on our channel. Just go ahead and check that out. We have lots of difficult replacement ones as well as some easy fixes too if you have something like this uh, what it kind of looked like is maybe he had a damaged cable um, they kept using it in multiple ports there maybe the part that the cable came off and got stuck in there that's the only thing i could think of that's stuck in both ports so charging we'll let him get back to his his uzi there and i think we'll be all good to go anyways guys if you enjoyed this video please leave a like it really does help us a lot check out our other videos on a macbook m1 repairs, especially the A2337, A2338, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro repairs. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.